Welcome back. We've talked about who is gay, but what about who isn't? Well, Lisa Bennett asked the question, can a sister get a break in this edition of Straight Talk? Can a sister get a break? I admit it, I'm a serial dater and I love bachelorhood. But let's face it, a black woman of a certain age who's never been married with no kids, don't think I don't know what people may be wondering behind my back. And just what could they be wondering? If I'm the big L word, not loser, lesbian. Not that I have anything against them. Some of my best friends are lesbian. <laughs> but just the thought of it sent a straight Southern girl like me running to see my sex therapist. Well, I think today we use the term lesbian a lot. There are programs on television. There are movies about lesbians. Um, so I think people are becoming more and more familiar with the term and what it means. And some of those stereotypes, I believe, are slipping away. Then I discovered I'm not the only person people may be whispering about. Lord, there seems to be a whole sorority of strong, black, unmarried sisters with no kids who are feeling my pain. It's not people who question my sexuality, it's black men who question my sexuality. And it breaks my heart because I'm not a lesbian. Uh -huh. I love brothers. Meet my new BFF, Paula Mitchell. She's a 40-something single professional sister who, just like me, don't have chick nor child. I've had quite a few men who wanted to be, wanted me to be the mother of their child. They just didn't want to be a husband. And so I made a choice not to have children. And it was very hard for me to make, trust me. Now, do you find that it's hard to like convince them that it is a choice, I don't want to have kids? Yes, yes, yes. They think you're making it up. They think something's wrong with me. What do you mean you don't want kids? What's wrong with you? Or if when you tell people you don't have kids, not people, when you tell black people you don't have children, everybody in the room get quiet and look at you differently. Look at Oprah. Oprah doesn't have children, and she's not a lesbian, and she, and, but people assume she is. They make all kinds of assumptions about her. I think a lot of times women are waiting to look for the right partner, because my friend's mom told me years ago, if a woman have a lot of choices in life, make sure you pick the right partner to have your baby with. And I totally agree with her with that. Yeah, she's right. But that sent me running back for another session with Dr. Gail Wyatt. And I think that we in the African-American community really have to hold our feet to the fire on this issue. We are so quick to judge and to demonize anyone who's different. And yet we're so sensitive about other people demonizing us. I think that if we are the first ones to cast the stone, we really have to look at how we're living our lives and to stop judging other people so that they can be who they are. This is what I want to know. Okay. As a single person, mm -hmm. are you happy? I'm very happy. Child, whether you're straight or gay, the majority of black women aren't married anyway, according to statistics. So what's the moral of the story? Don't judge a book by its cover. For Straight Talk, I'm Elisa Bennett. <laughs> now here's what's coming up on our next show. On the next No More Down Low, it was the tweet that went viral. It's the photograph that ignited a firestorm of controversy, two young African-American men embracing on an Atlanta subway. I see this every day on Crenshaw Boulevard. They're gay. <laughs> they look like they could be just like homeboys. Man, I'm not just about to be hugged up on you on the well, bus. Man. I recognize that probably the uproar was based because it's two men. There's nothing wrong with really. it. Through the way they dress, it's probably a little bit different from people who usually see it. You know what I mean? They just playing around real quick, like, you know, hey, what's up? But that, that's it. And that's it bothered me if my son was sitting right there. No More Download examines the controversy. And that's all coming up on our next edition of No More Download, so be sure not to miss it. From West Hollywood, California, reminding you to spread love, not hate, I'm Janora McDuffie. And I'm Jonathan Plummer. Thanks for joining us, and goodbye. See you next time.